damn it. Look at this fucking thing. Hey guys, Shea Bear here. We've got an issue. Look at all this water. This is the back door. Look at all this. Now it's dry back here. There's the main water line right there that comes in. It's dry and then it starts getting wet here and it's soaking wet here and it's dry over here. I know there's no water lines underneath here. I suspect this is being the culprit. Um, okay, it seems to be draining there like it should. Now I'm not sure what what caused this. I'm guessing splatter, water splatter. Okay, let's go in here and I'll show you what's going on now. I've I started looking at this. <clears throat> Back in here. It's wet. It's wet back in there. And it's wet in here. So I am suspecting that our issue is going to be this air conditioner because if you look at this that's water and this just all of a sudden started look at that we got mold now this just all of a sudden started started coming off there now you know we need yeah we need a new sink and all that but we're waiting to get because we're going to do the whole kitchen we're going to do the cabinets and everything but I'm suspecting this thing is leaking for a reason and I uh, hate this look at that it's all clogged up like gelled up um, but see there's a Back inside here, there's a drain that drains and it's supposed to drain out the back. And for some reason, it's not. So, we're going to take this thing out of here and we're going to tear it apart. We've got a screw here. We've got a screw here. I mean, it's pretty well, you know, these things just pretty much sit in here. I had to be careful because somebody, I don't know what they've done here on this window, but that's not the way I would have fixed it. Alright, so let's shit. And look what I'm looking at right there. Whoops. Shit. Uh, baby Black Widow Spider. Alright, let me get that taken care of. I'll set you on the stand. I'll get those two screws out because there's one on this side. And um, we'll pull it out. I'm guessing I'm going to pull it this way, so hopefully everything goes all right. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying. I want to do it from out here so I don't get all that water inside any worse than what it already is, but I can't seem to get the window to go up high enough. We'll have to go in and see what's going on. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to do it from in here. Um, but, I don't know how much damage is done on that wall. You know, I may have to 
Once we pull this out before we put the new one in, I'm probably going to have to put new drywall there. Looks like maybe something's going on here. I don't know. So, See, it's, it's draining out here. It shouldn't be doing that. We're just going to have to pull the cup, pull the this off of it. Um, we're going to pull the back off of it. These should pull out of our way, but looks like they've got them screwed in on the sides. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm going to let that drain for a minute. All right. Alright, that's about the best it's going to drain. We don't have carpet. We've got tile, ceramic tile floors, so uh, if it gets wet, I'm not real concerned about it. Okay. Let me see if I can get it out here and get it set down here. Damn freaking spiders. I won't get it set here. And I'm gonna move you out of the way because I gotta carry I'm gonna carry it outside and clean it up, so. Alright, I'm gonna carry it outside now, so uh let me move you guys out of the way. You guys gotta stay in here. <sighs> Snickers, no. You gotta stay here. to do with a weak arm and a weak leg. Let's go take this thing apart. Okay. I'll give credit where credit's due. Ford does double for something more than just a boat anchor. It makes a good workbench. Alright guys. Uh, I've got to go in. There's a couple screws on the sides here. There's one there, one there. I'm not sure what's on the bottom. And I've got some screws along the, the, the sides down here on the bottom. Uh, and then around the back to get that case off so we can find the clog. So let me get my screwdriver and we'll start taking some of this apart. Okay guys, I got the screws out for this. There's only one here and one on the other side. Now I should just be able to push this up, yeah, and it'll pop out. Okay, just like that. Now I've got to get, there's a little, here I'll show this to you. Yeah, I know, it's, it's nasty, I know, but it is what it is, right? See, there's that piece down there. It hooks in right there. So we've got to unhook that. That's how you open and close the vent. So I'm not sure exactly how that pops out. I think it just flips up. I'm going to try to do this holding you guys. There, just like that. See? got ridges on there that's what I was talking about so the water once it gets down in there it has nowhere to go so once that dries I'm gonna have to get that all cleaned off and it's not very efficient like that so let me uh, let's see we got a couple screws up here 
and they're loose. We're going to take these screws out. And we're going to try to get this thing off of here. I'm not sure how it goes in. I think it just pops in there. They usually... They usually have a couple screws here, but... Anyway, i got to pop them off. And then we're going to get this... Uh, we're going to get the cage off of it. Which I've got some screws down here I've got to take out along the bottom. Uh, sorry, limping a little. And some screws there on the back to try to get this cage off. So let me go ahead and get them screws out and get these off and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, there's four screws along the bottom of each side. There's one in here but you don't have to take that one out. There's a, uh, of course you've already got this one out, right? There's that one. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four screws. This one has one up here that helps hold that. Now, we should be able to lift this right up off of here. No, wait, we got one in the back. I lied to you. Yes, there's one on this back corner right here. We've got to get it out. And it should come right up out of there. Yeah, okay. Now, we should be able to lift the cage off. Yeah. All right. Now, let's see what we're looking at in here. Try not to break this. This is just styrofoam. Okay, so... I'm seeing some rust, some crap. I'll just show you what I'm seeing down here. It's not good. I mean, the air conditioner's still working, but see, look down in here. I've got to clean all that stuff out because that water has to run back that way to come out a hole that's in the bottom of it. See all that junk there? We've got to get all this stuff out of there so that water can drain back to the back so I'm gonna spare you of cleaning that see there's a drain hole right back in there that the water goes down and drains supposed to drain out the bottom of it now uh, it can't do that if it's clogged up so I'm going to uh, see this is all styrofoam here This is all styrofoam, so be very careful with this. So I'm going to get this all cleaned out. And I'll be back with you and show you. See, you can see where the water's been hitting the fan. Because it built up back there. And then this had no way to drain back to the back. So hopefully I don't have to pull this out. But I'll get out my air. And we'll see. You know. We'll go from there. Let me get this cleaned out, guys. Okay guys, the drain hole I was talking about is right there. See that hole? Whoops. See that hole? That's a drain hole there. And what it does, all this stuff, like from this condensing unit, we got it all cleaned off. Uh, it runs down in behind here. Down in. And drains out that hole there and then comes out there's a little trough down here can you see this trough where my fingers are right in there let me get a pointer right in there there's a trough there that runs and then it runs down there and out that hole okay well it was all clogged up and all the water was coming out this side out the front not all of it but 95 percent of it was so we got this cleaned off as you can see I took this cage off it's all laying over there got it washed off that's a little rusty but there's nothing I can do about it because uh, you know when reality gets you and you don't have any white paint there's not much you can do with it but these two pieces here I'm gonna take in I'm gonna clean them up these I just hose off I'm gonna put them back on it's no big deal I'll set you up on the tripod when I do that see they're just taped on with this with this kind of stuff right here 
Um, just a couple pieces of tape here and there's all that holds that together. Uh, I might use a little bit of hot glue, just a dab of it. Uh, I had to put a hole down there and one right down in there. I don't know if you can see it, but to drain this out because I hosed it out. I'm going to go ahead and block him off. Uh, I'm going to plug it in and let it run for a little bit though and make sure. See, this is the hole I put in. I don't know if you guys can remember that video or not. Uh, it was filling up with water right there from the rain and stuff and it it wouldn't come it couldn't come back up this way because you got to have these at a little angle don't don't leave them hanging way down you know like you see some people do but barely barely noticeable at a little angle and so it couldn't get back up there as you can see it's draining it's doing its job pretty well there so I'm gonna plug it in let it run a little bit dry itself out while I go wash them up and then I'll bring you back when I put that piece there on don't want to let your glue get too hot or it'll melt that styrofoam so I've got it on low well not this one I plugged it in there we go no I'll never be able to get this part without cutting it, but that's all right. Because if this comes apart again, it'll be for scrap. But anyway, this one don't have a load. What I did was I plugged it in, and I waited till it just got hot enough just to squeeze it out to where it's not smoking yet. And there it is. So, I'll show you one more time down in here. Got it pretty much cleaned out. See, this is why I was talking about these stupid things here. Um, let me back out a little bit. These things, I'll just put a little hot glue on them. But we got it pretty well cleaned out. Now back in there, I don't know if you can see it down there by that fan, there's another little hole. There's an indentation there, and it was filling up with water. So I went ahead and drilled me another little hole there, about the same size as the other one. Then we got this one on the back right there so there's that I'm gonna to try to get this cleaned up a little bit more uh, I think it's all clear um, I'm gonna go get a toothbrush and try to get them out of there whatever you do try not to bend them so let me go get a toothbrush I'm gonna to try to clean them out a little bit and then I'm gonna put the cage on I need to wash this up first now I'll take that in the house and do that, and then I'll be back with you. I also got to wash these, so I'll do that in the house. Now, let's get this back on here. these tight I know why they're loose someone has stripped them nice huh all right now, put these things on, and they just get slid down in here. Okay. 
kind of a pain to get them started sometimes. It's like that. But first, let's get these screws in here. Get this on here. Like that. Get the other side on. It's like just like that. Now we gotta put our side pieces on which they had them on like this but was it like this yeah that's the other side goes to here see that hole it's not supposed to be there they've put that in there it's supposed to go in this hole and down here now see it says it's even got them labeled left and right see the L on there but they've got it on the right but since that's the way they put it in I'm gonna to have to put it back in that way so I hate that but you know what else you know what else can I do I got I gotta because if I do it the other way I'm just I'm gonna to have to redo how everything was was done and this just slides in a slot down at the bottom in there and these just get pushed in there just like that there you go there's that one well I wish I could tighten them up somehow okay so let's do this one Bottom started. Push them in there. There's that. I'm going to take this in the house and clean it up. I'll bring it out and put it back on there. Remember that piece there has to be hooked up too so because that way it shuts it off and turns it on by pulling it out the vent thing in there and there's that. look I just got that all dirty again well it can be cleaned up this part of it can be cleaned up after it's put in there. Now we've got two more screws here. I'm going to put you know, I have to be super tight because it's just screwing in plastic. Now, man, I wish I could do something about that. There ain't much I can do other than drill, drill a couple holes. I may do that. I forgot to, I forgot to hit record. But what I did was, I took a couple short self tappers. I put one in there, and one in there. Now she's tight, because there's nothing down underneath her that I have to worry about. So now I need to get this inside, get it clean. Uh, so I can get it put back in 
I'm gonna have to clean these vents out some more because they're not not very good. There's your little vent thing. Uh, open and close right there. It is so. Um, then I gotta clean them out. Those didn't get very clean. But that's no big deal. So let me get this thing in the house and get it up in the window. I'm not gonna film it this time. But uh You'll get the idea. Let me get it in there. Really? Alright. There it is. Let's, uh, Let's plug it in. Damn. There you go. All right. I didn't use my air guys. I don't know if you noticed my hose out there. I was using my hose. Hose this all out. Look how nice it is now. By the way, that hose that is the one that I reviewed here a while back. Still going strong. There we go. Wow. Oh, it even smells better. It smells like a new one. Let's uh Put it on 66 and let it run for a little bit. Alright. Alright, let's let it run. She can, uh, she can finesse that. She, she'll get that all cleaned up nice and a lot better than my, I can, but I'm down for the day. This one about killed me. <laughs> I got something clicking in there. I think it's a piece of tape I put down in the bottom, but, uh, so there it is. Uh, all done, ready to go. So guys, that's what I had to do today. So, I want to say thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Thanks again. <laughs>